Hey guys, it's Itos Maple coming at you with a new video, and today I'm going to be bringing you my equipment update video. Uh, cubes are going on sale on Friday, so I decided to give you guys an equipment video before I make some major upgrades. So let's get right into it. We're going to start from the left to the right here, so I have my Sengoku totems. They are 24 all stat, uh, 8 weapon attack, and 8 magic attack. The event is on right now, so I highly recommend that you guys get these totems. They are a nice little damage boost to your range. Um, Tempest Ring, 15% dex, 3 attack. Uh, zero Gradius Ring. Um, I just wanted the crit on it because I didn't think I'd have enough crit as a Wind Archer. Um, an Absolute Ring, 18 all stat, 15 attack. And the Evolving Ring, 3 level 10, 10 all stat, 10 attack. I don't have level 30 charm yet, so I can't have a pocket item, but I do have those red scarves or envelope things that came out during the event, and I'll transfer those over when I get a, uh, level 30 charm. Uh, Crusader Codex is normal because I do not have the Leafer set yet. I do plan on getting that eventually, probably really soon. Um, my secondary pendant slot has a solid pendant in it because I'm not finished upgrading my reinforced set yet. Considering that the Gallux uh, scrolls are glitched right now, I won't be able to make those upgrades until that gets fixed. Um, the Dominator pendant is 41 all stat, 24 weapon attack, and 19% all stat. Uh, my bow 10 stars, 311 attack, 15% uh, attack. I do want to get this to legendary, and I'm going to be recubing it for boss damage. Uh, my Tyrant Karen belt is 57 attack and 15% dex. I do want to recube this for 18% at least, and maybe hopefully get it to 21% at legendary. My Royal Ranger Beret is at 18 attack at plus 6, so I have to slate the remaining 7 slots. Um, and 18% dex, which is pretty good. My sweet water tattoo is 17% dex and one attack. I'm pretty happy with where it is right now. So I'm probably not going to touch it. My raccoon mask is 30 attack, 16% strength. And it will probably go untouched because Unwall is coming out soon. And when I say soon, I mean like Jul uh, Ju June or July. June or July. Um, but it's going to be untouched because I'm going to switch to Unwall when it comes out. Uh, my Eagle Eye Ranger Hood is plus 9 at 18 attack, 12% uh, dex. I'm also going to recube this for at least 15% dex. And um, maybe I can get it to Legendary when the cubes come out. I've got just clean Ranger Pants here because for the, for the boss damage. I have Epic Ones in my inventory, and I'm going to recube that uh, when the cubes come out, and hopefully get it to 15% dex. My Tyrant Shoes, they're 9 stars, 73 attack, and 16% uh, dex. I want to recube this for 15% minimum at least as well. Um, my Earrings, 20, at, uh, oops, 20 attack, 23% dex. Pretty happy where those are right now, but I might touch them for strength when Unwall comes out, but I'm not entirely sure. I've got a clean Falcon Wing shoulder here. Um, I'm going to cube this for dex when cubes come out. I have to get a bunch of epic pots for a lot of my equipment. Uh, top 50 dojo gloves. They're kind of crappy. Although 12% total damage, 12% all stat, 15% boss. It's not bad, but they're still kind of crappy. Um, boss arena emblem. This is the B- one, I think. It's 2% dex. I'm going to get the unique, obviously. And I'm probably actually going to cube it for ignore defense because I feel like for higher defense monsters uh, and bosses, I like Vellum and Magnus, definitely gonna need that. I'm only sitting at 58% Ignore right now, so I'm definitely gonna need that boost in Ignore Defense. Uh, the red badge, because I blew up my ghost ship badge, um, but apparently they're reobtainable. I mean, somehow on my Phantom and this character, I got the badge again. So I guess like after a certain patch, they made them re made the quest available again. Uh, next legend medal, it's four all stat three attack. I wasn't around for when they did the Halloween event for the medal, so I don't have any good medals like that. Uh, my secondary, the Areve Brilliance, is twelve percent dex, six uh, percent attack, and it has a crit rate neb, which you don't really need. Um, I do want to neb both these and my bow for my uh, boss damage, but boss nebs are really expensive right now. So I'm going to wait for those to deflate a bit. And the Tyrant Karen Cloak is 8 stars, 66 attack, at 14% dex. 
I'm also going to re be recouping this for 18% minimum. And uh, the Barrel Heart, 56 weapon attack. I'm going to cube this to Unique, but ultimately I'm waiting for that level 100 heart to come out. I believe at maximum it'll have 10 slots when hammered. So with the event coming up for the Maple Anniversary, I believe those are plus 10 attack scrolls. So 100 attack, weapon attack is pretty nice on a heart. I know it's level 100, I believe. So you can get tier 3 potentials on it. Um, that's really it for my equipment. I'm going to show you guys what I have in my inventory right now to show you what upgrades I'm going to make. Um, so I've got a superior Golix ring here, clean at 12% dex. Um, since Golix scrolls are uh, glitched right now, I can't really do anything to my Golix rings. I also got a 12% dex uh, reinforced ring and a plus one solid ring that I have to get to unique. And um, I've also got some reinforced pendants here. I got like three of them, I think. Yeah, three. I'm gonna get those to unique as well. Superior pendants are still pretty expensive, so I'm not gonna be bothering with the superior set. Um, here's my ghost ship badge that I got again somehow, which I need to pot and get to unique. Ho hopefully legendary when cubes come out. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna really be doing right now for upgrades and what's coming for the future. Um, these are going to be moving within my account because of Windwall coming out in a bit. So finally, let me just show you guys how much I have buffed. Let's see, get everything up. So buffed, I have 831k. And then if I put uh, decent combat orders and... Uh, advanced blessing on I will have not 849 but oops, 853 and then with my pet 154k buffed so I'm slowly getting closer to my goal of breaking 1 mil range and uh, I'm not I believe I have around like 170 percent decks right now um i'm only hitting like three to five mils of golux right now so i'm wondering what how much i need to do 10 mil lines two golux and two magnus i still can't hard uh normal magnus actually because i'm not used to how he moves and the attack patterns it's pretty hard but yeah uh that's really it for my equipment video i've got some golux scrolls farmed up here so i'm ready for the patch finally um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching, and remember to love, and peace out.